One of the great features in the Microsoft Outlook calendar is the ability to actually use more than one time zone at once. Now, what I mean by that is when you're looking at your calendar, normally you're just viewing in your local time zone. However, you can actually enable a second time zone if you travel internationally quite often, for example, or if you communicate with individuals internationally. It's helpful to actually enable this second time zone so you can compare times and see exactly if something would interfere in a time in another time zone. So from your calendar, initially, and it's important to note that you can't actually access your time zone in the month view. So right here, we don't actually see any time zones, but if we go down to our week view, which you can access up at the top here in the home tab of your ribbon, you'll notice on the left that I have my settings here for just one time zone enabled, and I've called that home. Now you can name your time zones as well. So you can see this in the week view, the work week view, the day view, and your schedule view. You'll see it's at the top there. So you just can't see this in the month view, so just keep that in mind, especially if you're enabling a second time zone. It's only actually going to be useful for you in all those other views. Now, how do we actually add in that second time zone? Well, in order to change our time zone settings, we actually have to go into the back end of the Outlook system. Now, in order to do that, we have to navigate up to the File tab in the upper left here. We're going to go down to this Options section, and as soon as we do that, a new window will appear with Outlook options. Now we're going to focus in the calendar section here, and we're going to go down to the bottom into this section where it says Time Zones. Now you'll see my home time zone is here, and I could label this whatever I would like, and that shows me Eastern Time for the US and Canada because that's where I'm located. Now I do have the option to enable this second time zone, and let's say that I communicate with individuals in this area. Now I've labeled this AM, and I've set the time zone here. You can choose from a large list, as you can see. And once you have that, that's been selected and that checkbox is selected, just click on OK, and you'll notice that next to that home sort of view here, another time zone view has been added. Now, if you're using Outlook 365, you actually would have the ability to add a third time zone in. However, in Microsoft Outlook 2019, we don't have that ability. So again, if you have three time zones there, just make sure you're actually watching the correct course here because we do have a course on Outlook 365 as well. So just check your version before you do this. And remember, if you're on 2019, you only have the ability to have two time zones at once. So again, you can see how the times will compare across these time zones and how each of the meetings or each of your appointments will actually be affected across those time zones as well. So if you're an international traveler or an international business person or professional, I highly recommend you make use of that second time zone so that you can see that all of your meeting times work best in those multiple times.